I'm driver of the number 70 Mazda prototype, um, as well as a degreed engineer for the program. Uh, we're here at Eastdale CBI talking about STEM, which is part of Mazda's uh, race program, Racing Accelerate Creative Education. And STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Uh, we bring this program to the students nationwide, all throughout the U.S., everywhere we'll, where we race. Uh, we're getting close to 30,000 students total for the program. We're not quite there. Uh, hopefully we'll be there maybe by the end of the year. We don't want to make it a Mazda commercial, so to say, but we want to use Mazda's motorsports program to show the students what they're learning at the high school level. One, what they're learning will be useful down the way, uh, but two, we want to challenge them uh, to continue with their scholastic education. Uh, but we show them a list of over 60 potential jobs uh, outside of the race car driver, engineer, team owner that, you know, they may not have associated with motorsports. Nutritionists, the lawyers, uh, the biomedical field, for example. We use a good friend of mine, um, Liam Dwyer, who's a retired um, Marine, uh, who had his, his leg, had a situation, um, show them the medical side of how they put them back together. Um, so it's a very, very broad approach to it, and we're really wanting to challenge the students uh, to continue the education, and we use the motorsport program as the foundation. My name is Danica. I go to Eastdale Collegiate and we are at a STEM Mazda presentation today. Uh, STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. It is used in a lot of kind of motorized sports and all of that. And we're just kind of getting the new generation involved with what STEM is. My name is Toyer Kemp. Uh, the event today is, uh, well, it's a presentation uh, from a race car driver for the Mazda Motorsports. Uh, what I really learned is how much like different types of things go into making a race team kind of effective. Like there's science involved, there's engineering, there's mathematics, and just overall it's just every person has a role and no one's more important than the other. Everyone has kind of an effective piece together that just helps the team be effective. If we could transfer one message to the students uh, when we're here talking about STEM is really to challenge them to fulfill their dream. Uh, one area that we talk about is for every engineer that retires, it takes three engineers to fill that spot. And we talk about without the people, we could talk about STEM all day long. But without the people to fill that role, it'll never get filled. So again, going back to it, if we could challenge them to fulfill their dream if they, man, I want to get in the automotive industry or man, I want to get in the medical industry. Well, you can. Starting with the foundation of what you're learning here, whether it's elementary, middle, or high school, starting with those tools, you could build into your dream. So to continue down that path and the, uh, the sky's the limit, really. <laughs>